Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at two high-end luxury watches that I am certain Leonard Skinner would just love. Well, maybe not, but even so. If you're not exactly a simple kind of man, consider this. Three-hand time-only and three-hand date dress watches are coming back in a big way. Now, the 90s, the 2000s, they seem to be characterized by an arms race among complications designers to create the biggest, ugliest, and most convoluted complication that you could cram onto a person's wrist. Mercifully, two companies that we have here today, Chopard and Patek Philippe, did not jump into this arms race. Now, while Paddock is well known for its complications, they've never been un of the ungainly sort, and Chopard certainly has horological chops of its own. But what these companies do best is understated, judiciously designed, graceful men's dress watches. One is an established power, that would be Paddock Philippe, and the other is a rising power in Swiss high horology. So let's look at two emblematic references from them compare and contrast them and decide which one is the watch that you want. Now, Chopard has only been a manufacturer since 1996. Under Carl Frederick Schäufler and his wife Caroline, the company has really resurrected itself since the 80s in the image of a haute de gamme manufacturer. Now, the Chopard manufacturer in this case equipped this watch right here, which is the LU Chopard Tono XP with their proprietary 397 caliber. Now, for a company that's only been building in-house movements since 1996, this is a masterstroke. First and foremost, folks, this watch is beautifully finished, front and back. So let's take a look at that backside right here, the caliber 397, because this watch is the ultra-thin version of the Tono. The LUC Louis Ulysse Chopard line is Chopard's line of ultra high-end watches and the tonneau and the ultra thin tonneau are emblematic of that line now here you see the key to the ultra thin design a micro rotor allows the watch movement to be kept only 3.3 millimeters thick this is exceptionally compact and viewed in profile this watch practically disappears it sits like a wafer on the wrist very lightly its tonneau case with its rather squat aspect ratio feels very comfortable. The lugs are incredibly short and well curved. This watch will wear well on any wrist. It's a joy to hold, a joy to wear, and a pleasure to examine, again, front and back, because the standard of finish on this watch is exquisite. It's the equal of anything you'll see in Geneva. Sorry, Paddock, but the bottom line is, all the beveling on this watch is done by hand, and it's one thing to have beveled bridges. I talk about them often, that anglage, that removes the shear and the burrs from the side of the bridges to create a polished mirror-like shine. But here's the thing, on this watch, all of the screw heads are also beveled. The screw slots are beveled. The spokes of the wheels of the going train and the balance are beveled. It is exceptional to behold. And if you take it under a 10 power loop, a 15 power loop, a 20 power loop, it holds up. It reveals more and more of itself in a more and more favorable light. This is a 65 hour movement with two mainspring barrels hidden in there. They managed to reveal a great deal of the movement for a watch with such a long power reserve. Normally they're nothing but barrel bridge. You don't get to see much of the works. This is actually a very open movement with a beautiful view of the winding system, the escapement, the balance wheel, and the tightly pearlized main plate. Not just a 65 hour power reserve, but a chronometer certified movement with a hacking feature. When you pull the crown out, it actually stops the balance and stops the second. So this COSC certified chronometer, which is accurate to better than plus six, minus four seconds per 24 hours, can be precisely set to a reference time such as an atomic clock. Beautifully designed with what can only be described as modified baton, kind of hybrid baton dauphine hands. This is a unique dial with a train track outer circumference. It has a classical look to it without being stodgy. It's aggressive. It's a watch that's every inch the modern manufacturer movement, every inch the modern size, quite large in fact at over 45 millimeters from lug to lug. As a dress watch, it's robust. And with this innovative dial with its unusual hands and its tender use of rose gold, it has great warmth to it to contrast with the silver sunburst. And as one last fine detail I can highlight here, notice that the sunburst 
if you take a look at our high resolution photos on watchyouwant.com, the sunburst actually radiates outward from the LU Chopard marquee, not from the center of the dial. Very subtle, very sensitive, really, again, just a calling card of the Reborn Chopard manufacturer and how well they do detail, front and back, once again. That's a beautiful watch, the LU Chopard Tonneau XP Ultra Thin, manufacture movement. And what we have right here is an all-time great. Patek Philippe Calatrava, reference 5127. Now, this is the predecessor to the current 5227, but in my opinion, the proportions of this one work better. First of all, it's closer to the original 1932 Calatrava. The reference 96 was the first Calatrava, and it was a comparatively smaller watch. This is a 37 millimeter today. The 5227 is a 39, and I feel it loses a little bit of its grace. The balance of the dial isn't quite as good on the newer variant, and the newer variant has a less charming movement. The caliber 324 in the new one contrasts with the caliber 315 in this one because it has a high 288 beat rate, and I really feel like the chugging, chuffing, you know, six beat per second that you get on the older movements is more charming, it's a little bit retro, and because it's a Patek Philippe with its patented Gyromax balance, you're not going to suffer an accuracy. The only difference really being that one has a faster heartbeat than the other, and honestly, I think Patek got it right with this reference right here. This is one of Patek's modern classics. Beautiful to look at on the back, just like the Chopard. This one's exceptional because while not a chronometer like the Chopard, it does have the Geneva seal right there. The famous Poisson de Genève, the sign of total quality, of screws that are polished under their flanges to a mirror finish. Now, Patek hasn't been signing their watches with the Geneva seal since 2009. So, what you're looking at here is the last of the line, a collector's item through and through. Um, Patek Philippe was one of the first to identify the 1886 Geneva seal standard as essential, as a hallmark, um, basically a stamp to denote the finest timepieces, and they embraced the standard in a big way, and they were one of the most important proponents of it through the 20th century. So the fact that they've gone off of it actually makes me a little bit sad. What's good is that watches like this bearing, the original Poinçon de Genève, and a Patek marquee on the front, are now an outstanding value. And, like I said, many times in the past, anything that's no longer in production becomes a limited edition by default. This watch, with its beautiful tapered lugs, its dauphine hands, its spare silver dial, is an excellent modern interpretation of that original 1932 Calatrava, and it does the Patek Philippe manufacturer proud. If you wanted to have a just one Patek type of Patek, one that encapsulates all of the elegance, all of the manufacturer competence, the accuracy, the history, the finishing standards of Patek Philippe, the 5127 would be an outstanding choice. This could be your only watch. Now, the bottom line is both of these watches are available in condition that presents like new. On WatchYouWant.com, you can see both of these watches in high-resolution photography with their complete boxed sets as included. The Chopard includes a complete Chopard set of factory boxes, and the Patek Philippe includes a full boxed set. All factory boxes, paperwork, accessories, documentation, and provenance are included with this 5127. Check them out on our website, WatchYouWant.com. We are the authority in pre-owned luxury watches. So take a look at this Patek Philippe and this LU Chopard and our entire selection of luxury watches, and I'm confident that you will find the watch you want.